Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Pink Fresh Studio. In today's video, we are going to do some hot foiling. We're actually going to create these rainbow Valentine's cards. These are a two for one design. I love those. These are fun and easy to make and a great way to stretch your resources. We're going to start with two panels of white cardstock. These are eight and a half by five and a half. I just took a regular sheet of cardstock and cut it in half. I'm also going to use this gorgeous rainbow glimmer foil and the new heart grid hot foil plate. I love this. You may have noticed I did accidentally foil my hot plate. Today, I hopefully will go over really carefully how to avoid doing that yourself at home. But if you do make the same mistake as me, it's still usable. Your hot foil plate will still work. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this rainbow foil out. I want a piece that's bigger than my hot foil plate, so a pretty large piece. I'm going to start by placing my platform into the base of my glimmer hot foil machine, turning it on. You can see when it's on, the red light is on and I have to wait. I'll wait until that little green light there turns on, which means my platform is now ready. So now I'll place my heart grid hot foil plate down and then hit the timer. The timer will blink until the hot plate is ready. And once it stops blinking, I'm ready to create my sandwich. I'm going to start by detaching my platform from the base. I like to do that before I make my sandwich. Then I'll grab my hot foil here or my, my rainbow foil, place it rainbow side or shiny side down. Then I'll grab my paper, then the spacer, and then I'll finish off with the top um, plate. So just place that down and that will actually complete my sandwich. Now I'll carefully pick up my sandwich. I'm trying to be careful not to let anything shift. That is also why I like to detach my plate or my platform before I build my sandwich. And I ran it through my Spellbinders die cutting machine and we're ready to see the results. We have this beautiful rainbow grid of tiny hearts. I love it, it's so pretty. Now we're gonna save that, that uh, foil there, that rainbow foil, cause we're gonna use it again. We're gonna use it with the new solid hot foil plate. So I'm gonna pop my platform back in and wait till it is ready to add my plate. So now my green light is on, my platform is ready. Now I'll just grab my solid hot foil plate, place that down and press the timer. Once again, that timer will blink until it is ready. So once it's done blinking, it's solid green, we're ready to make our sandwich. Now here I do make a mistake. I forget to detach my platform from the base, which will make it a little bit harder for me later on. So now I'm going to start building my sandwich, starting with the foil, placing the shiny side, or in this case, the rainbow side down. Then I will grab my cardstock. Again, I like to use a pretty big piece of cardstock so I don't have to worry about missing the paper. Then my spacer, then my top plate. And here you can see I'm struggling to get it off. I just really do like to detach it before I make my sandwich. Now, before I run it through, I do recommend you add a shim when you're using that solid hot foil plate. That just helps to get you get better results with that little bit of extra pressure. Now I'm going to remove to kind of deconstruct my sandwich and here you can see that gorgeous full rainbow blend panel. It's just so pretty with those little tiny hearts that are now white. I love it. So gorgeous that it just turned out perfect. I'm so happy with it. So now we're going to ready. We're ready to move on to trimming these down. I have a little uh, clear acetate a uh, grid here that's the dimensions of an A2 panel. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I use this to help me get those hearts centered in that panel and then I trace around that grid and that's gonna make it easier for me to cut that down. Uh, I think this is really handy to do. I actually made my, my little acetate grid myself. Um, you can definitely do that or, or you, you, there are some available for purchase as well. So I'm going to go ahead and trace both of these uh, foiled panels with that grid and then go ahead and trim them down with my paper trim trimmer. And now I'm ready for this really cute shaker heart die. I'm going to use the largest die from the Essentials Shaker Heart die set, center it all over my panel, and then I will die cut it. Now what's really important when you're uh, die cutting foiled pieces, you cannot use any tape. So don't use any low tech tape. Any tape will remove the foil from your foiled panel. So just be really careful when you're creating your sandwich and loading it into your die cut machine so nothing shifts. So that die cut beautifully. Now we're going to move on to the other panel. Just repeat that process. Take that heart, center it in, run it through my die cutting machine. And now we have these two panels with these gorgeous kind of stitched hearts. They have a little stitch detail, which I love. And we're ready for moving on to our sentiment. So I'm just going to pop these in here. You can see perfect. 
So now we're going to move on to this super cute Lots of Love die set. I've used this die a ton of times. I love it. It's a two-part die. I'm going to use the shadow part to die cut out of white cardstock, and then I'll use the actual letters die cut them out of some kind of satin gold uh, cardstock. So this has a nice little shine to it, but not too shiny. Now I'm just going to glue all those letters in place, and I will repeat that process for a second one. So I'll actually make two of these sentiments exactly the same way. So here are my two sentiments all ready to go. And we're basically on home stretch here, at home stretch, we're ready to put these together. So I'm going to flip flop those hearts around. I'm going to take that rainbow mirrored or rainbow foiled one and place it into the uh, negative of the white, the more white panel. First, I'll add some liquid adhesive to the backside of that panel and stick it down or adhere it down to an A2 top folding white card base. Then I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the backside of my heart, remove the backing, and then just center that inside the opening. Then lastly, we have our sentiment. I did already add some foam adhesive to the backside, so I'm just going to remove the backing on that sentiment, and I'll just place that centered in that heart. And I do move it here a little bit and I recommend you be really careful with that because it's sticky and it does pull away the foil a little bit. So just try to try as best you can to get it in one go. Now we're going to move on to the second one, just exact same process. I'm going to first adhere the panel down, then add some foam adhesive to the heart so it is a little bit dimensional. Then we'll move on to the sentiment, which I also add some foam adhesive to and just center it inside the heart. And that will actually complete my cards. And I'll hold this up to the camera so you can get a good look at both of these rainbow cards. I love this hot foil. It's just so pretty. And I think that rainbow um, design is really fun with the hearts and I think it just works really well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards and video. If you have any questions about the products I used, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.